Hey, what's up guys? This is Andrew Smirsek with Combat Arch Training. Today we're going to be putting a sling on this here AR-15. Um, 16 inch barrel, mid-length gas system. Um, this is a rental gun for a class. It's in 300 blackout. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's a cheap ass uh, Palmetto State Armory rifle. We're going to see how it runs. Again, this is a beater gun for class. Uh, so a lot of people are going to use it and I'm not going to clean it that much uh, unless it needs to be. And it's got the cheap Hollow Sun, the cheap Macbull flip up sight. I don't even know who made this charging now. You got the cheap Surefire on there. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it runs. Um, you know, and uh, I'm gonna have a another video here coming up about how to set up an Air 15. But we're gonna put the sling on this one. Um, we'll be using our Combat Art Sling V3. Now this is the way it is packaged in stores, okay? So they don't ship this way unless you're a store and you're buying uh, a bunch that we'll put in this packaging. If you have a local gun shop, you want to carry our products, uh, as long as they're a cool gun shop and not a stupid one, please uh, send them over to our website and um, there's going to be a dealer section in the shop. Uh, if you got any questions, info at combatertraining.com. All right, so uh, when you order like a sling and a quick release, it's already connected. They're already put together, but let's show you how to do that real quick. Um, the quick release, if you're looking at it from the top, right? So if you see this fold, that's the bottom. This is the top right here. Um, this um, male section from the clip should be slanted downward, all right? Then you take the back part of the sling, which is the part with these two tri-glides, and we're gonna go through this hole right here, okay? From the bottom, and then from the top, we're gonna go through the other hole like that, all right? Now, I'm just gonna do this quick. I'm not gonna go through and size it to my body. I've already got other videos on how to do that. But we're gonna go through this first tri-glide, all right? And then the second tri-glide. Now, you adjust this end to your body. All right now, I want to get just a little bit more like that. Now, this extra piece, we're gonna go back through on this hole right here, and that will make it really locked in place. If you want to do anything extra to it, you can wrap that in like gorilla tape or electrical tape, and that will never come out. It's not gonna come out like this, but uh, if you want to go extra, you can do that. All right, so. Uh, if you order the sling and the quick release extension, it gets mailed to you already set up like that. All right, now, <clears throat> QD mounts are great, um, and, you know, they're probably better, but uh, honestly, I don't like, you know, uh, spending, like, 60 bucks on mounting hardware, and 550 cord works fine. You should probably replace it about once a year. Um, with your uh, emergency kit, you should probably have 550 cord in there, all right? So I'm just cutting off about a, a, a foot or so. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these, these two ends, put them together, and I'm gonna loop them like this, and then bring them back through the hole. Again, be generous with how much you cut. Give it about a foot. All right, let me go right about there. I'm not gonna tighten it yet because I wanna actually put it on. Uh, first, we're gonna do at the front part of the rifle. And let me zoom this in a little bit. Okay, now I'm right-handed. So this on the front will come off the left side. All right. And as long as, yeah, that will be enough. If I can put, pretty much if I can put my finger through there nice and loose, it'll be good enough to put the sling on. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten that bitch down. I'm gonna cut her right there. And I'm gonna burn those ends. And hopefully in this video, I will not drip the hot 550 cord onto my hand. All right, good. Let that settle. Now we're gonna go to the stock. Now for the stock, I prefer, as a right hand shooter, have the sling on the back come off the right side, okay? 
made other videos about this already. You know, let me get this position. I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. We go through back here, all right? Same thing, grab the two ends, all right? And then I'm going to loop them through. I forget what this knot is called. If you know what it's called, please uh, comment it below. Um, actually, just comment anything. Comment a word. Uh, you're free to shit talk in the comments and I'll go right back at it with you. Um, like the video, dislike the video, whatever you want. All right, now I got that. Now don't just don't just stick it through and have it be good. It has to loop back through, okay? So uh, for this, I'm gonna loop through this side and I'm gonna see if this is the right size, okay? Okay, probably go a little bit looser. A little bit longer. I think just tightening it down would be good. All right, now I'm gonna just burn these ends. And I wanna know too what videos you guys wanna see because um, I know I haven't been posting videos lately. I've been making a shit ton of fanny packs. Thank you guys for that. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, check out our fanny pack. It's no bullshit. The greatest fanny pack ever made for concealed carry. All right, now, got that. Pull that through right there. That will be fine. Okay, now I'm gonna take the back end of the sling. And I'm gonna put it through this loop right here. Let me see, where are we? Right here, all right? So I've got, I went in through the top. Okay, pull it back, bring this loop back through there. Now I'm gonna take this end of the sling and I'm gonna put it through here. Okay, now the top of the sling should be showing at this point, okay? So like, see how I see two bars on the tri-glide? That should be showing. All right, now same thing when I connect this, or when I put this through the tri-glide. All right, I'm gonna go through one hole and then, let's see, I'm gonna give it some more slack actually. I kind of want to keep this tri-glide right up here. Give it some more. Good. All right. Go through that first one. Go through the second one. All right. And then back through the first one over the top. And I'll keep it locked in nicely. Okay. Just like that. Now, flip it over. Go back to the front. Right, I'm going to take the front end, which has the quick adjust part, and I'm going to put this loop through here, okay, and now here I've got enough where I can do two. You could make the back loop longer, and you could do two strands, like uh, two loops that it's going to go through on the back end too, and uh, you know, it'll be stronger, um, but not 100% necessary. And I'm gonna put this guy through here. Through the back one. And back through the front, okay? So that's how you do it on your own with the 550 cord. I might start doing an add-on uh, for like a buck to make the 550 cord loops for you. Um, if you want that, go ahead, comment below that you want that. But honestly, y'all should own a bunch of 550 cord already. Okay, so from this point, I'm gonna put it on my body, have it tightened down all the way, and I'm going to size the back end to me. All right, we already have videos about that, uh, so just go find those. Uh, but hey, let me know what videos you wanna see. Okay, we'll be doing a, another video on the Air 15 setup. Um, we'll be doing, um, a video of videos about this rifle specifically maybe individually a uh, review on the optic the light the mount and the um, rear sight let me know what you want to see all right thank you guys uh go to combatertraining.com to pick up these slings again hit up your gun shops um let them know what we got because we're about to come out with a backpack and uh and then after that a chest rig and some other stuff um 
the fanny packs are selling great, so thank you guys so much. Um, but yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, so thank you so much, and keep fighting communism.